everybody's football crazy lately. But one man in Johannesburg is not affected by the whole hype of soccer. And this man is Prophet Everright. Even though football is everywhere in his neighborhood, he is not bothered by it at all. Joe, yes, my lad, bless it. Yeah, man, you know. Yes, yeah, sports is not a part of, you know, Rastafari way of life, you know. Yeah, man, you know. In, in general, we're talking football, you know. You see, we don't support football. Everright lives among a small, peaceful Rasta community in Yeovil, Johannesburg. He takes his wisdom from the Holy Book, which is the Bible, and that's where he reasons to be against football. They chop off John the Baptist's head, and that's when they started to play football with it. That's how football exists. It was the black man head, John the Baptist, the greatest prophet. You know, until this day, you know, now they make it into a soccer ball that took the continue of that tradition, you know. He's on a peaceful lifestyle with his wife. Instead of the negative energies that football brings, he prefers homemade winemaking. But soccer in Johannesburg still reigns supreme among the diehard firms. And on the other side, wine appreciation takes center stage in Everett's life. Not only in that respect, he follows the Lord. Mm. Yeah. Christ turned the water into wine. He has decided to use his hands to grow a green vegetable garden instead of the feet running around the green soccer field kicking a ball. 